Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. We are still working on our first business requirement here. So let's say we have created a welcome screen. Now let's say we wanted to also create another screen, an end screen as well, which will bas basically display the end of the business process. So we are going to go back to our Cloudflow designer. From the palette, we are going to choose the screen element under the user interface and just drag it to this canvas. So now we have two screens and once you drag it, you're going to see this pop-up message and here you have to provide the screen name. Let's say the name of the screen I provide is end. This is the name of my screen and uh, what kind of buttons you wanted to show. Let's say if you do not want to show the finish button on the screen, you can click this. If you do not want to show the previous button, since this is the second screen, so this is going to be, if you don't want to show the previous button, you can select this option, but we wanted to go ahead and show the finish and previous buttons on the screen. So we're going to go ahead and uh, choose this option from the drop down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click OK here. So now we have added this end screen. Now let's go ahead and save this. So here you can see here, now you're getting two warnings. The end screen is not connected to anything. So in the flow, it doesn't know that, okay, this is our starting and then go to the next screen. This is the next screen. In order, we have to connect these two screens. So how are we going to connect these two screens? You can connect these two screens by just clicking on this diamond icon and then just dragging that icon and moving it to the end of this to the second screen. So this is telling the Cloudflow designer that, hey, this is my first screen and this is my next screen. OK, so the flow goes from this screen to the next screen. So when the user enters the next on this screen, it should take me to this end screen here. Now, on the end screen, let's say I want to display a message to the user saying, hey, this is the end of our business process. Thank you for whatever you do. OK, so let's say I want to display some text message on this end screen as well. So what you can do here is you can select this display text again because you wanted to show something on the screen and drag it to the right hand side and then just double click or just click on this display text here. So what is the name for this field you want to provide? Let's say I wanted to say this as end underscore text. You cannot have space in the name of the fields. So we're going to say end underscore text here. And let's say I want to display the message saying this concludes this process. Thank you for all that you do. So this is the message that I want to display on the screen. And then once you if you wanted to go ahead and increase the font size, just click on this button, the T, the formatting button here, and then it will show you this screen. And then you can increase the font size to, let's say, 18 or whatever you want to do it. And if you wanted to make it bold, you can click on this bold here. And let's go ahead and hit the OK button. So now you have added a message to the end screen as well as to the welcome screen. So now let's go ahead and see how this flow looks like. So first we are going to save it. Now we have connected both the elements. We have connected the first screen and then second screen. So it, so we know that, hey, this is in this flow, this is my first screen and then it goes to this next screen. And when you save it, you're not getting any mess warnings because you're doing the, we are in the right path. So let's go ahead and run this flow. So we're gonna go ahead and run this saved flow here. And you can see here, it started with the welcome screen. It displayed you the message that we have wrote in the welcome screen. And then it automatically shows you this next button because now it knows that there is a next screen that I have. And in the next screen, you, sh uh, you see this end screen message that we have added, which says this concludes this process. Thank you for all that you do. Now, on this, since this is the last screen, there is no more screen after that. So that's why you see this finish button. And since there is a, we can go back to the previous screen using this previous button. And on this screen, we do not have any previous screen. So that's why it did not show you the previous the previous button here. Since you can go to the next screen using the next button and then you can finish it. Once you hit the finish, it will take you back to the welcome screen again because it will retest this flow again. So now what we have done here is we have added two screens to this flow. One is the welcome screen and then you have is the end screen. 
Now, looking back at the requirement, it says that, hey, show the intro on a greeting screen. Show an intro or a greeting screen. So this requirement we have done. Then it says, allow the user to click a button to get to a screen to enter in her full name. So we have entered our, this screen is done. Now we need to go ahead and take the user to the next screen where he can type in the name, his full name, and then allow the user to click a button. There should be a button here, which will take you to the next screen. And then here you're going to show the end message. So we have done our welcome screen. We have done our end screen. Now we need to create this screen, the middle screen here.